Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Unheard Voices of Crime Edition. Now this was developed by Next Studios, published by 505 Games and is usually available for £8.74 slash $9.99 but is actually on sale for this week at £5.24 slash $5.99 and I tell you what, it is genuinely one of the most unique detective games I have ever played. It's really, really good. So with this one then, we play the role as an acoustic detective. So instead of looking at evidence and having all that stuff that we got to look for, um, we're basically a fly on the wall where we listen to different conversations in order to pin the crime or pin whatever it is on whoever else. Now, what you'll see, it's like a top-down view, um, and basically the game's going to start. Uh, don't worry, it's a bit of an unskippable cutscene, so don't worry. Um, but you'll see it's like a top-down mechanic type thing where you have to listen to a couple of different uh, people's stories. Um, and as for achievements then, again, there's only 12. Effectively easy. We basically have to get three different endings, which we can do very easily. We have to pass five of the tests without fast-forwarding or rewinding, and I'll let you know uh, in just a minute when we get that. There are two miscellaneous achievements. You've got to check out each room in all of the five maps, and you have to, in the fifth episode, or the fifth mission, you basically just have to stand next to a girl who's humming. And that's about it. And then we got a little bit of DLC to play as well, but it's easy enough. So, once we have, uh, again, this should only take around an hour to our, an, about an hour and a half to do something like that. So, with that being said then, let's do it. And it is slightly puzzlish. So, with the first mission, it's basically going to, it's going to hold your balls, uh, sorry, hold your hand. Um, and it's going to take you through it. So, this is the first mission. So, effectively, in order to pass... Um, a mission you have to get all four of the names correct and you have to accuse whoever it is correct as well So if you press the left bumper once it starts do not press the right trigger or left trigger to fast forward or rewind You have to basically listen to the whole recording So what it's gonna ask you to do is select and it's gonna tell you to select Tyler first now obviously I Obviously know all the answers so I'm gonna tell you anyway, but what you'd have to do is go through the recording quite a lot um, and pick out whoever's voice it is, and you basically have to piece together a lot of clues that way. But of course, I know the answers, so I'm going to help you, because I'm nice. So, a uh, little bit of conversation is going to happen here. Again, like I said, make sure to never rewind. You can see it at the bottom there, which is these, uh, the progress bar, or whatever it is. Um, so, if you press right trigger or left trigger to fast forward or rewind, you will not get any of the achievements for passing these recordings. So that's all you gotta do is just effectively just let it play out. Uh, nothing I can think of, why? Drugs perhaps. Does that jog your memory? Wait, what? I don't know anything about any drugs. Okay, we're done for now, wait here. So after this little bit, we can start, you can see where we are in the top room with shouty, angry, drug, drug dude, Tyler. We are the shadowy man. The mysterious shadowy man. So, what you'll do then is walk out of the room. And you just have to follow the uh, the one voice. So, we will eventually just get... We will get to uh, putting out all the voices later. So, go into the next room. So, remember as well, for each mission, we have to check out every room. This one is pretty much unmissable. Um, so, again, they'll have a little bit of a conversation. Tell me we're here, whatever I won't. Because you cannot see me, because I am the shadow man. Moi, moi. So, again, you can follow them, and obviously it's just a tutorial. It's just basically going to take you through different ones where you can go in each. So, effectively, in each room where there are different characters, different characters will be talking at the same time as other characters in other rooms. So, obviously, it would be up to you to um, go through the recording and then replay the recording and find different people and make your own deductions and stuff. It is genuinely such a fantastically unique twist on any detective game. It's damn cool. All right. Cameron. So there's a little bit of a confession. So what you'll need to do is go up to the 
Tyler name on the right and change it to Cameron. This isn't your first time impersonating Tyler, is it? There we go. And then once that one is done, we will eventually be able to start um, tracking the rest of the names. So again, so basically then after every recording session has finished, um, it will then, again, providing you haven't fast forwarded or rewind and you've got the achievement, it'll then give the, oppor the opportunity to, um, if you want to replay the recording, you can. Or if you uh, think you figured out an answer, then you can just press the X button to answer the question. He's done nothing but lie straight from the start. We already read him his rights, but he didn't ask for a lawyer until now. The statement we got will hold up in court. Lawyer or no lawyer. So, again, providing there was no fast-forward or rewind, you'll get the Twins achievement, and we will have the ability to play it again. Now, um, I will be showing you just one more time sort of uh, how to effe effectively do the rest now. So, again, even before everything starts up, you can run straight into another room to hear what other people have to say. Um, now, remember this time... Uh, you can actually uh, fast forward it because we got the twins achievement. You can actually fast forward it if you want. Um, so now we're going to start putting the names down for everyone. So again, like I said, that is how you effectively uh, pass every mission. You've got to get all the names correct and answer the question correctly as well. If you do get one wrong, it'll just tell you that you have to. Um, uh, it'll just tell you that you have to go back and figure out which voice is actually correct. So you can't actually ever get anything wrong. Right, so let us do this. This is the, for, the, uh, for the last time now. Let us get it all correct and all done. So with the left-hand side of the chair, we're going to put Amber. And then if we go down into the next room or in the bottom room with the bottom room. Yeah, look at us run. Shadowy figure of death. So the, uh, well, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward it a little bit until the boat's sitting down and the... The one sitting on the sort of upper one is Marty, and then the next one will be Tyler. And then what you can do is literally press the X button to answer the question, press the A button, and we are going to choose Tyler. So Tyler is the correct one. We've got all the names in. Tyler's the correct one. Submit it. Yes, we've discovered the truth, and then it'll go through like a little, um, little cutscene and... Yeah, it's just, it's just genuinely very cool. Drugs, perhaps. Does that jog your memory? Wait, what? I don't know anything about any drugs. There's just one thing I don't get. Why would you report your own brother? Let me ask you again. Who are you? All right, all right. Cameron. We found a whole kilo in your trunk. It's already wasted by Papa. Didn't notice a thing. So you believe that the twins swapped their identities? Excellent assessment, detective. By this point, You've probably figured out you're reviewing a sort of surveillance recording. All of this data is contained in and processed by what we're calling the uh, Acoustic Detective System. It allows you to freely navigate through past events using captured audio. Ultimately, we're hoping to assemble a new investigative department that will rely heavily on this invention, both to solve cold cases and assist with new ones as they develop. You're off to a strong start. Let's get back to it, shall we? How yeah, bros, pewter pie. We're an acoustic detective now. Right, so we are on to mission two. Now, the recording is around 7 minutes 44, 45 seconds long. Again, remember, we have to um, just go through all of the recording without fast forwarding and rewinding so remember never to do that plus we are going to have to visit every room so uh, remember to keep that one in mind there is level select anyway if you do end up missing one so what we're going to do first is just get all the names so the first one then is green who is just outside the door before we begin um and the next one on the left hand side who is already in the room just above 
is going to be Sean. So Seen Bean or Sean Bean or Sean Bourne, whatever you want to call him. Next up, we'll go to the left. We'll go up and hiding in the bogness of Regis taking the world's longest dump is Mac, Mac and Cheese. Underneath in the storeroom is going to be Maestro. I accidentally put security here, uh, but that's fine. Um, but that one in the storeroom is Maestro. And then in the bottom right corner here is security. So we did get them a little uh, a little messed up there. So I do apologize muchly. Um, also, if you do end up quitting, um, the tags and everything that you've already put will uh, remain. So that comes in handy, especially for the three endings later on. So the maestro there, security there, and then we'll go into the top right room now, and we're going to put Reeves. Oh, hello, Reeves. And then what we have is we've just got Tommy, and Tommy will pop in a little bit later on. So press the left bumper to start, and again, remember, we're not going, um, we're not going to be fast forwarding or rewinding at all. So what you can do is just go into each and every single room. Now, that room does include the room behind the security guard there. So make sure that you do that one as well. Otherwise, for the most part, we have effectively gone into every room except for the one behind the security. So again, for now, you are just going to be, well, just... You can literally stand there if you want, or you can just go into each room and have a little listen and have a conversation. But for now, you are doing nothing. Effectively. You're lost? I told you it was A2, a round building. The exhibition will start soon. You must hurry. Just put your mind at ease. Yes? I've already told you the lost art. It's about more than just the theft and retrieval of a painting. Who knows how many people are going to get tangled up in this before it's over. Each of them playing their own special roles in the maestro's mash- You should just answer that, hmm? Go ahead. Uh, right then, like I said, just one by to say thanks for the sneak preview. You've probably got a packed schedule. I'll see you out there. John! Ah, Maestro, there you are. So, Tommy is just about to pop through. There he is, talking to security. Now, um, what I was wondering is if you could press the A button uh, while the sort of recording is going on to put a name down um, without affecting the achievement, which it turns out, yes, you can. So, you can just press the A button now, choose Tommy, and then, again, you can just wait on. Um, it's literally, as long as you don't fast forward or rewind it, then you are Snickers boys. You're not you when you're hungry. So yeah, with the blank one there, again, we have to put all names to circles rather than faces. So once you've done Tommy, again, we'll just be waiting for a little bit. Damn it! This storeroom looks like a fucking hurricane ran through it. How the hell am I supposed to find this safe? So, I've been waiting! Oh, like an idiot for spending- Of course. The Renaissance is forger! In the storeroom. Wasn't that our plan all along? Hello? Hello? How, what the hell? Someone beat me to it? How did I miss that? The old combo a try. Ha! 
and just like that, the job's done. Too easy. No wonder the old man ain't paying me much. Could have had me swipe a nicer painting, too. People these days will call anything art. Yo, old man! I got the merchandise! We can begin. Are you ready, maestro? Yes. Let us, uh, as they say, get this show on the road, huh? Not that. This cannot be tracked back to me. Oh, don't worry about me. I understand all too well. What's that you got there? What? Hey, this is... Is that a copy of the Maestro's painting? I got one myself. Pretty good, huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, of course. <sighs> Want a cigarette? Don't know about you, but I'm barely keeping it together. Before the 90s, you could smoke anywhere, but now? <sighs> sure, thanks. Don't mind if I do? Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen. Welcome. Welcome. welcome, welcome. I'm so I'm glad you could all be, be here today. today. I'm, I'm sure, sure many of you have questions, questions about the... ...be <sighs> before you, which is why, which is why without, without further, further ado... ado so again, if you haven't, make sure to go into the room behind security where Tommy came in. Um, I'm just about to do that now. Ah, there we go, lovely. So that's... Uh, <laughs> That's the cherry popped off the cake right there. Delish. Now, i got to be honest. Obviously, it is a lot of waiting around. But every mission and every story, personally, I found very interesting. So it was never... I was never personally just bored. Because obviously, there's a lot of games that want you to just wait around for a couple of minutes. And then you're bored as balls. Oh, Jesus. It's the alarm. It's the good-looking Shadow Man alarm. Shadow the Hedgehog. Yes. Uh, but yes, so like I said, especially with the last couple, they're about 15 minutes long. But there's a lot going on, so you never get bored, which is n n n noise. Where are you going? I uh, uh, forgot something I gotta take care of. Got a split. Thanks for visiting. No, I think any more Wait a minute. Any non-existent outside on the market. You came in. I uh bought it from the gift shop. Oh well. Wait, we don't have a gift shop. You stole it. Hand it over. Jesus, fine. Take it. It ain't worth a shit anyway. Two? Director! The painting's been found! But what? Another one? What oh, can that be? Another one? The, uh, the lost art has returned. It's a miracle. Welly, welly, welly. Willity, wellity, wellity. Well, big old Flanders once helps from the Simpsons, man. Right, so we'll get the achievement there for not fast forwarding or rewinding, the empty frame achievement. And then we can just now press the X button in order to answer. And what you're going to answer is the first one will be Mac. Mac and cheese. And the second option will be security. So who stole the real painting first is going to be uh, old Big Mac. Ah, Big Mac. And who has the real painting in the end? Make sure to choose a security. Uh, again, everything should be squared away in terms of the uh, names, names to faces, we found the truth, close the case. Oh, MacGyver. Good news, I have a potential buyer. Keep worrying, it's perfectly safe. You know I jumped in with the real thing, Ella. You took it? When, uh, when did you nab it? The win is unimportant. What matters is that I have it. I checked. It's a fake. I feel like an idiot for spending all that cash. I've been 
makes it forgery. What are you talking about? Of course the painting you gave me is fake, but I swapped it with a real one in the store. Yeah, turns out that what's fake too. Heels off. Get up the rest of your money. Looks like you're getting the hang of this. Before we go any further, I should inform you our acoustic detective system does have potential side effects. For example, you may start hearing voices as the test continues. There's nothing to worry about, I can assure you. When the exam is finished, depending on the outcome, we'll provide any additional treatment you might need. Now on to the next scenario. To further test your abilities, we'll try a higher profile case. One I'm sure you so it is on to mission three, and it's all to do with a uh, bombing in a police station, which is, well, as it turns out, it's really not good. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm actually going to wait for a couple of minutes uh, till we get to about three minutes, and then I'll start putting more, uh, effectively, more names to faces. Uh, sometimes I found it just a bit easier so that they were a bit more spread out than I could uh, put the names down. So for now, uh, what you can do, we can just have a little uh, run around. And by run around, I literally mean we're just going to uh, nip our nugget into every single room. Um, now again, obviously, you could probably effectively just do this while everyone's talking and while the recording's playing. Probably would make the playthrough a little bit shorter for you, but I just want it to be more safe than sorry because it is very easy. It can be very easy to miss one, you know, bathroom stall or one tiny room that is off into the corner or something, like the one, like the ones here in the top right corner. So that's why I thought we'll just uh, nip it round. But again, if you want to play the recording while you do this, be my guest, me old chicken breast. But once you are fully satisfied and we've covered every room, uh, now we'll press the left bumper to play. And again, we're going to wait until we get to about three minutes or so. And then we'll start naming a lot of the names. Done? It was just a phone! Guy didn't even want to press charges. But you brought me in anyway just to hit me with some outrageous fine for petty theft. You broke the law. What? Doesn't surprise me that you're a rookie. No one else about it. I had something like this on Night Patrol. You're wasting everybody's time. I've had just about enough of you. Thankfully, you won't be my problem much longer. Somebody paid your ticket. I'm in no hurry. Though, can't say the same for the guy whose phone I pinched. He looked like a real complainer. Excuse me, officer. Sorry to have to bother you again. Come on in. I'd really appreciate my things back. No problem. I'm almost done. You're lucky you aren't being booked, but you still gotta fill this out. No! For crying out loud, it's not like I went on a killing spree. There! Ta-da! Signed and dated. Can I leave now? Mm-mm. You two, we're going to reception. Glad to see you, Officer, nice to meet you. Name's Mickey. Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Give this patient gentleman his phone. Here, now beat it. I lost two of these. There should be another one. Two phones? You think you're Daddy Warbucks? By the way, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Inside, until you left. Good evening, officer. So sorry for the trouble. My friend didn't know any better. Whatever, Mickey.
car. Did it ever occur to you that it might blow your cover? I had to act fast. The info I've got is crucial. Blow up tonight. What? All right, I want you to tell me everything. I'll send someone to keep Doug busy. Jess, there's a man in the conference room. Go in there and stall him for as long as you can. Conference room? Why? What did he do? Car accident. A fake car accident. Keep it that way. Do whatever you need to do. Just leave. Right away. The street is. So everyone stay vigilant. Raven? I don't have all the info, but I'll fill you in once I have more. Right then, are we ready, my chicken breasts? So first of all, like we can see here, we're going to head outside. The one on the top is going to be Mickey or Mickey Finn. All right, Mickey Finn. So it's going to be Mickey, and the one just underneath him is going to be Chip. So all Chip bags, Mickey and Chip there on the outside. Go in, and behind the reception desk is going to be Schrader. So the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Schrader. Go inside the building. At the desk is going to be uh, Jessica. Right here. So old Jesse Woos. We're going to go up into the sort of top right hand room. And the one on the right is going to be Tucker. Hello, Mr. Tucker. And the one just to the left of him is going to be Doug. Dig Doug. There we go. From here, we're going to go into the right sort of upper room. And taking another dump in the toilet for a while, it's going to be Dwight. Yes, Dwight from the office in America. Just underneath him into this uh, bedroom bit is going to be Kint. Ah, what a stupid, <laughs> what a stupid Kint. And then into the top office, the one on the left-hand side is Martin. And the one on the right-hand side is Blade. Blade 7, Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool. And go to the office underneath it. The one on the left is going to be Cassidy, as in Butch Cassidy. And the other one's going to be Sting, as in Sting. As in, a bee bit my bottom, now my bottom's big. And that should be absolutely everyone. So, we are just going to, uh, yeah, just crack on with the rest of the recording. And, well, see what you can pick up, old detectives. Can't pay you, though. Sells, bros. What are you in for, huh? Let's see. Public intoxication. Beautiful. Why'd they even bother? Ah, uh, shove it already. Just open the gate. Let's try to limit our alcohol next time, maybe. Money soon enough. Oops! Uh, Sorry about that. It's fine. You just stole that guy's phone. That was something else. Something else? I'll show you something else. Uh, look at me, Chip, and tell me. What's a phone to you, huh? This phone ain't worth squat if you're gonna just sell it. It's the mobile era now. A phone's more than just a phone, it's access. Access to the owner's... ...more proof that you shouldn't drink in your condition. This way. Let's get you released. Give it a try. Hello, officer. Have you seen my phone? Oh, you again? That's gotta be a record. Yeah, you I, uh, yeah. seem to have misplaced Are it. you here? Oh my god, here it comes, the feeder explosion! No, I shouldn't joke about that, actually, but uh, still. There's the explosion. And it's exactly what everyone's like after a taco night. Uh, so, let us press the X button now to answer. So the top one is going to be that stupid kint. So, what, <laughs> what a useless kint. Second one is going to be chip. Which again, Britain versus America. Chips slash crisps slash chips slash fries. And the bottom one is going to be Dwight. Yes, Dwight from the US office was the raven all along. Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. So that should be all names in correctness, and that should be all questions answered correctnessly as well. Enjoy the scene. I think the boss told him before the rest of us? Yeah, something's off. I've seen Kid drink for years, and I've never seen him drunk. What? Trouble walking stupid. Ooh, legs a bit heavier than I remember. 
Remember that cargo freighter? The one that blew up in the harbor? Raven's doing. Got what he wanted. Murdered his guys. And scuttled the ship with a remotely detonated explosive. All the info we've gathered on him suggests he eventually kills anyone who's seen his face. Oops! Uh, sorry about that. I see. Does it strike you as odd that these situations seem to be full of coincidences? Sorry, I meant great job. You're progressing through these examples at a steady pace, but I knew you could crack them. All right, on to the next one. Tell me, detective, do you enjoy the theater? Why, yes, darling, I do enjoy a bit of the theater. You know, I'm kind of a posho myself, you know? Right, what intermission for then, lads and ladnesses? But seriously, on to mission four. So, um, what I'm going to do is we will start to just uh, chuck a couple of names down at first. So we'll start in the top right room. Um, and again, just to be on the safe side, again, if you want to, you can you can start the recording if you so wish. Uh, but I do find it easier to just go into each room, make sure that you got everything um, uh, that that you've had a look in each room just to be sort of on the safe side. Um, because the first top two here is going to be Sasha on the left and Harvey on the right. So we're going to get the majority of names down uh, before we begin this one. Um, so we're just going to head up into the middle room, the top middle room, the top middle left room, or the top left room, sorry, into the very left room and the one below it. Go into every room in the middle. And for this name, we're going to put Slim Shady. There he is, old Slim Shady. No one in this bathroom, but in the room to the right, there is three, and it's going to be Leo on the left. Leo the Lion, Sea Dome, Old Gap Dome, uh, just underneath him. And then to the right is, my name is Jeff, my name is Jeff. Can't do it as well as Channing Tatum, but you know the drill. Uh, the one stage hand here, this is the big stage, by the way, this is only one big room. Helen is just chilling, killing, smoking a villain. And then what we'll actually do now is I will play um, just till about 40 seconds or so. And then I can get the uh, th other three down, dusted and collected. So we'll play it for now because I, I was getting confused with Four Eyes and Ashley. So basically it's Four Eyes, Ashley and Larry, um, which I got confused with the Four Eyes and Ashley. So we'll play it for now. Uh, the one speaking right now, in the middle of his own, is actually Larry. So you can go ahead and pop that name down if you wish. I say if you wish, we got to do it. So get it done, dog. Which means, Ashley, you'll be playing the supporting roles. Really? I knew this would happen. Well, whatever. All right. Four eyes, you play Dorothy for now. Just follow the marks on the stage. Got it. Okay, which stand on the mark? Yes, much better. Which start walking? Tech, are you ready? So then, Broski on the very left hand side is old four eyes. What if a guy with glasses has glasses? Does that make him eight eyes? Right huh. the, the questions you need to the questions we need to learn, eh? So now we've got Larry again, who is the one on his own, and over to the right now is going to be Ashley. So there are another two characters, which will come in uh, a little bit later on, Paul and Blake, uh, roughly around the six minute mark. So again, for now, it's literally just a case of being a detective and, you know, listening and stuff.
Probably just someone who heard the rumors and wants to make a quick buck. Hmm. Got another text. It's asking me to meet him in the store. Boards and the flies. This is what we're willing to pay you. More than generous, don't you agree? Just tell us, are you in or out? Don't wave that cash in my face. It would take more than money to get me in your plan. Meaning you have something. So let's see it. Well, allow me to introduce you to this rope. <laughs> Let me guess. You're gonna try with that frayed piece of junk. Oh. Sasha out there. Listen, Sasha was once in your shoes, you know. Then, after Emily's accident... No use in going around pointing fingers. I guess I just don't get it. I mean, how did the house suddenly just fall on her? Who was holding the remote when it happened? I, uh, I was... Oh? Don't tell me that you might have... Of course not. And it's not like I wasn't a suspect as well. But there's no way I could have done it. The remote only controls the hook on the rope. If the rope breaks, well, no remote control or hook can stop that. The rope broke before I even pressed the button. That was confirmed by the police. Yeah, but have you gotten any? Come on, fess up. All right, all right, yes, I have. But I'm telling you now, this has absolutely nothing to do with Emily. That I'm sure of. Her phone went missing after she died. Someone must have taken her SIM card and decided to pull a prank. A very distasteful one, I might add. Hmm. Huh. Killers will be killed. Doesn't sound like a prank to me. Maybe it is Emily, and now she's out for revenge. Makes me think Sasha really did have something to do with Emily's death. That's hogwash. Sure, sure, Sasha might have benefited the most from Emily's death, but that doesn't mean she killed her. Even the police ruled it an accident. Yeah, but what if someone really did murder her? <sighs> I'd be first in line to see them suffer. That's what. Uh, sorry, I just needed to blow off some steam. It's hard to pretend I don't miss our late leading lady. But the show must go on, so go get ready for tonight. Focus. I gotcha, I gotcha. I'm off to make up. Scarecrow get up, he doesn't give a shit about anything unless it's good for him. Yeah, but what about Larry and everyone else? Turn off your brain and grow a spine! An opportunity for me, but I need your help. Bottom of those mysterious texts, hmm? Injured? Yeah! Big injury. That would... That'd really back it up. Hmm. You know, I think you might be onto something. Maybe pull the same old trick from two years ago. Yeah. All right. I'll need to go pay a visit to our old friend. But first, I need an excuse to play the witch. Let me think. <laughs> Buy me a coffee. Huh? Oh. <laughs> you weren't kidding when you said same old trick. You even have any allergies? If I did have an allergy, It'd be a fake one. I'm an actress, remember? Huh. Me? I, uh, oh, I'm, I'm fine. Just, you know, tomorrow's the anniversary and all, you know? Uh, speaking of, you haven't gotten any texts from Emily, have you? Oh, please. You guys actually believe that superstitious whole- You, Sasha? Heard you was gonna come back, but what you doing down here? Figured you'd be up on stage getting ready. I have a favor to ask. Whoa, 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 no siree. Not again, Sash. It'll be easy. Just do it the same way as you did last time. Not with Tamara being the anniversary of you know what. So Paul and Blake are actually going to appear in the very left-hand side room, the very left-hand side top room. Um, and he'll go in and see Seabone. Or they'll go in and see Seabone in just a minute. Um, 
Again, just make sure that you have visited every single room. You pretty much should have by now in this level, of course, for the Sound of Silence achievement or whatever that one is called a little bit later on. So, um, yes, Paul and Blake is going to come in from the left and they are going to now see Leo and see Dome. You know, I can try. Come on in. So, when we get here then, the one on the left is going to be Paul, and the one on the right is Blake. So, Squeaky Boy is Blake, and hard ass action is going to be Paul. So, Paul left, Blake right. Job done, that's the names done. And again, now we just need to wait and have a little mosey on for another six minutes or so. Uh, no changes, no, no changes in our disguises. Are they ready? Two costumes, the Cowardly Lion and the Tin Man. Put them on, and you'll be able to walk around backstage. <laughs> no one will suspect a thing. Mm -hmm. Just remember not to talk to anyone. Just remember not to talk to anyone. Jesus, that sounded just like Leo. We're pros. We can act better than you when we have to. Just one more thing. Us two, we're not going to become suspects, right? Good thinking. So, what's your alibi? Alibi? The police are going to ask about your whereabouts later. What are you going to say, huh, Leo? What? I, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Happens every time. Our alibi? Hmm. How about... we were all... Uh, we could... A fan? <laughs> I didn't know they allowed fans back... Tell you what, we'll provide you guys with an alibi. Free of charge. Oh. <laughs> ah, <watch it. laughs> and they're out! Nighty night, boys. <laughs> Amateurs, all of them, have no idea what they're getting into. Well, the customer is always right. We only did this to make sure we get the rest of our payment. Anyway, let's drag them to the storeroom and tie them up. When the police arrive, they'll just add them to the pile of victims. No harm, no foul. I'll carry them. You make sure the hallway's clear. Got it. All clear. Let's go. Is it? Huh? Huh. Chrome Dome. Leo. Hey, guys. Uh -huh. The show's about to start. What are you still doing here? I could ask the same of you two. Hey, uh, who are you carting along, huh? Wait. Chrome Dome. Leo. What the hell is going on here? Nice stash of cash you got there, huh? Do I get a piece of it, too? Gah! I, uh, um... No! Clean up the mess. Take a look at all this cash! Forget about Dorothy and her little dog. Oh, don't worry. We'll take the money. Need to go look for someone. Look for someone? Who? You seen that manager of mine? Harvey. As I recall, he went into the storeroom earlier. Got it. Thanks. I figured it out. Whoever's pretending to be Emily is in the... What? What the fuck? Oh my god, guys! Are, are you okay? Who could have done this? V, wake up! Harvey! What's going on? Why is the back door locked? Larry! What's this on the mirror? Killers will be killed. Emily. That's impossible. I just saw them earlier at the rehearsal. They're in the storeroom. Follow me. The storeroom? That's where Slim goes to get high. He thinks the straw in his costume masks the smell. Anyway, it's almost showtime. You and Ashley get ready to go out. I'll send Four Eyes to check. There's no way I'm going back on stage now. I want to get out of here, but I can't because someone locked the back door. Perhaps it is? Maybe I can... Oh, who, who is it? 
it? Uh, is Sasha there? Who's asking? And what do you want with her? It's me, Leo. Just need to talk to Sasha for a sec. I just saw Leo unconscious in the storeroom. I don't know who that man is or what he wants. Sasha isn't here right now. A and you're not in the first scene either, so head backstage. We've already got enough going on here. Yeesh, so many people. We can't just leave. He I'm outside. thinking that you can use the side door on the stage. You can play the witch in the first scene. Then, when the smoke appears, you can use it as cover and leave from the side. And as for Dorothy, Ashley can play her, can't you? Uh, all right. If you're sure. Of course. Quick. The control room should work. Give us a hand, Helen. Would you? Right, I'm on it. The witch is simple. Just... Didn't I tell you two to get lost? What are you doing back here? And in costume to boot! Got something to show you is all. Yeah? Why all the mystery? <laughs> ah! Another sorry ass taken care of. I'll keep an eye the door. Got it. More like a fool's hope. In awe. On stage. And I, Eleonora, the witch of the east. That power. You shall all bow before me. There shall be no The held house. Her. It fell on top what of her. No, oh my god, they killed her! They killed Snash Nash! Well, now it's about to find out what the hell is actually going on. So, press the X button again to answer again. You shouldn't have fast forwarded or rewind, that'll get you the theater achievement. So, let's answer it. So, the first one who organized Emily's murder, that actually was Sasha herself, old Snatchy Bags, old Snow Snoosh. Scooby want a Scooby Snook? Uh, who sent all the ghost texts? Well, that was actually Eight Eyes himself, old Four Eyes. And who followed the ghost text instructions to kill Scooby Snooks? That was actually Larry. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Great twists. Once you've submitted, all the names in question should be right. And that is Mission 4, done close to a closed. To, to a, a guilty. You're right about that. See this cut here? Who did that, I wonder? Not with tomorrow being the anniversary of you know what. You can't keep pulling these stunts. Give my old heart a break. Yeah, but what if someone really did murder him? I'd be first in line to see them so that's what. Who'd be calling me now? Emily's number. Hello? Who is it? Is anyone there? Jeff? Sasha? I need to check the blocking marks one last time. As soon as that's done, we'll get started. Any orders from our dear director, Four Eyes? Just wants you to double check all the props. Huh? Who'd be calling me now? Emily's number? Fuck it. I'm, I'm calling this number. Let's see who hits us. Is he? You? Why? Something else to double check? Nah, I think I left my phone here. Your phone? Everything alright there? You ain't normally one to go around forgetting stuff. Interesting. Then... Someone used the director to commit the murder. Congratulations, detective. You've passed the test. Unfortunately, there's no time to celebrate. The real work is about to begin. So on to the final 
mission already. And then again, we've just got a little bit of DLC to play. Again, remember to check every single room and not to fast forward or rewind. This is a bit of a long one. It's going to take 15 minutes to finish. But we can get all of the names effectively straight away. Uh, rather than wait around. Another explosion. Mental hospital. So some people are lying and some people are crying. Uh, I don't think nobody dying. But definitely somebody making a pie in. Hmm. My rhymes are crap and I didn't even know it. See? Right, so anyway, uh, with the babbling complete, let's... Crack on. Now, this is the one where we're going to get the miscellaneous achievement for listening to the girl Emily uh, basically hum throughout the entirety. Well, it, it only lasts a couple of seconds and she does it right at the very beginning. And she also does it um, about halfway through the mission as well, which is fine. I get it through halfway through the mission. So let's go ahead and go into each and every single room. So again, at the main reception, the room above it, the hallway here, the two rooms there we go, that's another two. While we're here, we're going to grab two of the names. The first one is going to be George at the very top. And the one underneath him is going to be Maestro. Hey, welcome to Maestro, old maestro. So now we're going to the main sort of office building right here. The uh, first one we're going to grab, well, eventually, just as we go up to the kitchen at the top as well. Um, oh, I'm apparently, I'm just going straight down. There we go. So straight down into the bathroom then. We are actually going to do Spoon, who is the first one. Old Spoon old, and just underneath him in the same room is Nelly. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. Right, so back up then. This is Emily. This is the girl that we're going to uh, listen to humming for 30 seconds or so later on. And the one to the left is going to be James, James Rodriguez. So into the right-hand side hallway, down into the bathroom, there is another two. Uh, Ray is on the top and Jennifer is on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what we're going to do is go into the next room to the right, and that is going to be the director. So, Mr. Director. And then when we go back into the hallway, just above us is going to be uh, Klep. So, old Fish Klep. In the room to the right is going to be Muck Murphy, who is just an angry pig. And if we go to the room at the top, that should now give us the achievement Sound Chaser for completing, uh, clearing uh, each room, going into each room with five maps. So what we're going to do is go to the reception area. We are going to play it, and we're going to do the last three names here. The first one is going to be Oscar at the top, who is the sort of receptionist. The one on the left is Elvira, or Elvira, or Elvira apparently. And the final one is called Tony. Now, obviously, if you wanted to get the achievement there for Emily Humming, obviously, you could have st stood right next to her and um, listened to it then because you have to listen from beginning to end. But again, if not, we can get it a little bit later on. So again, it is just a case of chilling, killing, and seeing what you can find. Addictive. It's mighty fine work.
First, we'll take control of the hospital. Then, we'll rescue Maestro. Seriously, though? That... Lead to the development of multiple personalities. Those who's... He recites their files from memory. Hold up. Why is this gate open? No wonder you're trying to cover up how easy it is to slip out of here. All the doors are unlocked. Unlocked? Ah, yeah, that was me. I apologize. I was in such a hurry to greet you earlier, I forgot to lock it behind you. Escaped. Let's check inside. This is our day room. As you can see, all our patients are quite well cared for, wouldn't you say? Nice decor in board games doesn't change the fact that they're still stuck in a mental facility. Hey, hey new arrivals! Grab your clothes and toiletries! Huh? Who are you? None of your concern. Pick your seat and sit down. I don't want any trouble. Who's this guy? Patient number 27 has a non-bizarre grandiose delusional disorder. He thinks he's a caregiver here. The hospital is short. And pure and simple. And you can't bullshit a bullshit. So this is where we're going to get the Humming Emily achievement. So basically Elvira is going to go up to Emily and start asking her a question. Now she's going to start humming. So just stick around Emily until she starts and finishes humming. Achievement will unlock. And then, once again, we relax over Rancho until the endo bendo. Fest says selective mutism. She talks to no one. Hmm. Neither of these two are going to be any help. Let's split up and canvas the rest of the place. Check the room over there, would you? On it. Okay, whatever you say. Both of you sit down and behave yourselves. I want you to answer the officer's questions. Also, officer, I don't understand what you hope to gain by interrogating these patients. That's a nice costume you got there, officer. Pretty convincing, even. Your lines, on the other hand, have room for improvement. You can't start off that strong. You lose any sense of foreshadowing. Just makes the audience feel off. It or not, he suffers from something called the Truman Show Delusion. In his mind, he's making a masterpiece, and we're all just actors. We rely on role-playing therapy to treat patients like these. Trying to interrupt or correct him will just get us nowhere. But if we play along, he'll calm down soon enough. Mr. Director, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Who are you? Really? Look me straight in the eye. That's how you do it. Much better, much better. You gotta have a quiet sense of intimidation. You don't need a shout to be coercive. Go back and re-enter through the door. Let's shoot this scene again. What the hell? Please, officer, he meant no harm. Remember, I mentioned some of our patients are likely to initiate contact. Well, what about that one, huh? Mr. Bathroom Emergency. Was that real? Or just some excuse so he could leave? Him? <laughs> He's a thief. Hey! That, 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 that's defamation, you hear me? I'm a law-abiding citizen. Behave! Patient number 36 suffers from an impulse control disorder commonly known as kleptomania. He simply cannot stop himself from stealing. Doesn't matter the person or place. <laughs> regardless. Makes me think this hospital's next step is to experiment on normal people. That's quite the theory. What about him, huh? Seems pretty legit. Schizophrenia, maybe. He's sick, but it's not schizophrenia. 
You made a mistake any layman would make. What he has is called dissociative identity disorder. That's where you have multiple personalities. In his case, two. Huge difference between that and schizophrenia. <laughs> I see. That I'll have to remember. Wait just a second. Aren't you getting me out of here? Afraid I can't. At least, not yet. I'll come back once our investigation wraps up. <sighs> you don't believe me either, do you? Why do you even bother, Nelly? Journalists are the watchdogs of society. Or haven't you heard? Is the seclusion room. Open it. <laughs> I would strongly advise against that. Anybody in there? Who the fuck's out there? You get in here, you cocksucker! I'm gonna kill ya! I'm gonna kill all of ya! Cute mania and violent psychosis. I told you to open this door. Just do it. All right, all right, just give me a second. I need to find the key. Which one was it again? Is this one? No, not this one. This will only take a second, I assure you. Ah, here it is. Great, open it up. Who the flying fuck are you? I'm gonna straight up bash your fucking brains in. All right. I'm gonna need you to calm down, sir. You get that fucking duck away from me, you hear? He fucked me up! I can't think straight. I'm gonna slit his fucking throat, you hear that, huh, doc? Huh? I'm gonna fucking murder you! Tell the doctor he can leave, Elvira. We'll take it from here. Aw, ring! Just be careful. With me, exactly. We used images to hypnotize you, allowing you to see and hear things from your past. When you saw an interrogation, you could remember the story Silver Spoon told you. The problem is, when you saw the image reflecting yourself, you weren't able to differentiate between delusion and reality. You sank further and further into your own fantasy story, allowing you to escape from the bleakness of your own reality. You state the whole theft. Quite the coincidence, and a little too convenient, don't you think? George, doctor, what you said, I don't quite understand. Who's that knocking? Ray, what are you doing here? Who did this to you? I'll explain everything later. Quick, untie me. I can do that, but only on one condition. Just say it. Wh whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. Within my power, of course. You need to prove to everyone else that I'm not crazy so I can get discharged. Consider it done. I knew you weren't crazy a long time ago. Perfect. Then you can get me out of here. Well, I, I'll do my best, but, but remember, I'm just a caregiver. The doctors are the ones who have the final say. Oh, speaking of doctors, Jennifer's in the room next door. We gotta save her, too. Dr. Jennifer? <coughs> Doctor? Doctor, wake up! <clears throat> Where am I? What happened? Someone apparently knocked you out. Got some blood on you there. I remember that much. But why am I in the bathroom? Can't help you there. Wait, you weren't out cold, Ray. What happened? Huh? huh? Hey, what are you- uh, Ray! What the fuck? You killed her! She'll be fine. Anyway, better her than us, right? What are you even talking about? What's going on? Okay, so here's what happened. While you were treating patient number 68 earlier, you remember that, right? I was talking with James. The two of us heard this loud noise all of a sudden, so, so I went to check. 
Turns out 68 broke the window and took off. By the time I came to check up on you, you were already out cold. I had this cracked ashtray next to you, too. This got me all in a panic. So I didn't notice that the gate to the inpatient sector wasn't locked. Next thing I knew, a, a bunch of patients had all gotten out. They, they charged me, tied me up, and threw me in the bathroom. Then, then they dragged you in after I was tied up. Jesus Christ. Then Nelly was in on this, too? She doesn't really strike me as the violent type. I don't know about that. But I'm not taking any risks. They're all crazy. Who knows what they're capable of? But what is it they're trying to do? And why didn't you call the police when you had the chance? Everything happened so fast. One second, I was trying to figure out what happened to you. The next, those psychos jumped me. Huh? Where's my phone? Don't tell me they took it. Oh, wait. Oh. God damn it, it's gone! What? <sighs> Not my phone, something else. Uh, uh, you know, caregivers aren't allowed to bring phones inside the hospital. You know, that's the rule here. Well, that's stupid. What do we do now, then? We can't even call the police. How many people did you see in here earlier? Don't tell me everyone is in on this. Uh, I saw Clep, Silver Spoon, Oscar, oh right, and Mr. Director. I'm telling you, it was chaos. There might have been more of them. I don't know. And all of them working together? They're not even suffering from the same illness. This is certainly a first. What do you think they're trying to do? Escape? So, uh, they, they took the keys, but as... Be damned. But there's no way in hell I was wrong. Let me check again. No one under the bed. Huh. What about this big chest here? You don't think he hid the money in it, do you? A chest? Wait, don't touch it! What the? A trap! Like a fiddle. Now he knows we're here. We need to pull out. Uh, and here I... Fiddlers stuck to roofs nowadays. You know, I'd much prefer you use that mental energy to get us the hell out of here. Oh, yeah. Because I can just walk here looking like... To, to return stuff. Make it happen. All right, all right. That's odd. We've been here for a while now, but there's been no sign of Nellie. There was some kind of weird sound earlier, so she... Turn that thing on before you can watch it. I'm sick, I right, tell you. Me. Well, guys, I hope you've been having fun, because it's over. The taco explosion from your butt happened. We do it again. Now we should get the fifth achievement called Mental Hospital there for passing the test without fast forwarding and rewinding. We're going to do a few answers for the first one. So who are the real mental patients? So we're going to choose the director first. Then we're going to choose Maestro. So it'll be director first. Well, it doesn't matter any order as long as you just pick them. So it'll be director, go down and it'll be Maestro, the Mexican mayor, Maestro. Then Spoon. Then Emily, and then Clep at the very bottom. Press the B button to back out. And then we are going to choose who is Ghost, and it is... Ray! Yes, the old X-Ray. Ray is the Ghost. We'll submit that. Bam, slam, thank you, Nan. Excellent work, Detective. I have just one last question for you. So this is where we're going to start cracking on with the endings then. So the first one, uh, she's going to ask who we are. So we're going to press the A button. And then we're going to choose number 68. So once we press the A button here, we get a choice. Go to number 68. And then we'll press the X button. And then choose Submit, to which we are, number 68. Little bit of dialogue is going to happen. And then basically what we'll have is two choices. There's an ashtray on the right and there is a bunch of pills on the left. So for two of these achievements, we effectively have to um, pick the ashtray and then pick the pills. And then we're going to do another one. So for now, for the first one, we're just going to choose the ashtray here on the right. And that is going to get us the delusion uh, ending.
God. Jennifer? What happened to you? Wake up! So once that is done then, for the love of God, I promise you to just press resume. So if you press resume, and it'll come up uh, basically saying, do you want to remove all the tags and everything? If it does, make sure to say no, because now you can just press the X button, and all the answers will still be remaining, so we can go ahead and close the case. Now, I'd actually messed up the first time because I chose level select and then I had to do the whole basically level again, which is just a pain in the ass. Um, oh, so sorry, is that foul language? I meant pain in the old bum the wrap. Um, but yeah, so if you just press resume, everything is all good as it is, and then we can get back to the second ending. So, once again, we are going to choose um, number 68. Someone just asks us who we are. Number 68, press the X button and submit it. This time, we are going to grab the pills on the left-hand side of her. That is going to get the auditory hallucination achievement. And what a twist, by the way. We'll move forward with your treatment. Here, this pill will help calm and center you. So once that's done again then, again, make sure to press resume, and once again, if it asks you, do you want to get rid of your tags, it shouldn't if you press resume, I think it's only on level select, but just in case, uh, this is obviously where I messed it up, um, so if you do end up messing it up and you've got to put all the names and answers and stuff again, whatever the case, once this is done, this time, when she asks, who are you, we're going to say Aladdin, nah, I'm joking, uh, basically, we can choose any option other than number 68 or detective. So I just choose uh, maestro as the option. That will then get us the amnesia achievement. Question for you. I'm sorry, Detective, but you've failed the test. <sighs> I had hoped it wouldn't turn out like this. You were doing quite well at the beginning. But, well, things started to unravel towards the end. It's sadly clear. You don't even know who you are anymore. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to. And there she blows, matey. Right, so that's it for the sort of main game. Now what we can do is head down to add-on content. Ignore me for a minute, go to select level. We're going to go to add-on content, and it's going to be the new game for The Lethal Script. Now again, this is just sort of one level, just a bit of extra, a bit of extra fun. Um, now remember, because we don't need to worry about fast-forwarding or anything, what we're going to do is... Uh, well, we're going to make this nice and quick. We are now going to press play with the left bumper and then we are going to skip with the right trigger until we get to around 14 minutes and 45 seconds and then we'll start putting some of the names to circle faces. <laughs> Right, so let's crack on with it then, shall we? So in this main room here, on the left-hand side one, there are two people here. The, the one on the bottom is Daniel, and the one on the top is Linda. Oh, pepperoni head Linda. No offense. Um, in the main room at the bottom is going to be Big D. Yo, it's Big D. Mm, it would be me, but I'm small D. Extremely small D, disappointingly. With the three uh, babbling in the corner, the one on the left is Vincent. The one on the top is Norman. And the one on the right is Lisa. Lisa, it's your birthday. Happy. Right, so we'll go into the bottom left-hand side room to find another two people. Um, one of these is going to be Quinn and the other is going to be Leonard. So effectively, the one on the right here is Leonard. And then the one on the left side of the pool table is Quinn. Dashi she blows. Right, only a couple more left to do, so now we will head straight up from the main room and we're going to go into the left-hand side room to find another uh, three here. The one at the bottom is Aunt May, 
The one, well, that was on the bottom there is Dylan, or sort of who was talking, uh, who was just talking, and the one at the top is Logan. Yes, X Men, Wolverine. Wolverine's back. So into the room to the very right hand side of the previous room we were just in is going to be Andy. Andy! Who's just going to be chilling on his own. And we've got two left, so head over to the right. In this room at the very top right hand corner is going to be John. And then go into the room below, and chilling on his own is going to be Big Bill Billington. So now we've just got Tina and a boss left to do, who are in the main room, sitting down on a bunch of chairs, uh, just next to Big Small D. Tina's at the top, boss is at the bottom, job done. And now we can actually just go ahead and answer the questions. We've got all the names done, so let's press the X button now to answer. So what you need to do is basically put the actor to their role, and um, that's it. So for the first one then, the, the, uh, the very first one, first name is going to be Leonard. So again, press the A button, go down to Leonard, and he plays... Who do you think he plays? I'll tell you. He plays Dylan. So Leonard plays Dylan, and then for the second one, it's going to be Linda plays May. So Linda plays me. For the third one, it's going to be Daniel. And he plays John. So Daniel plays John. Poor John. All he wanted was some love. Uh, the fourth one is going to be Quinn, who plays Bill. So Quinn plays Bill. The next one is going to be Norman, who plays Mouse. So, Norman, and he will play It's Big Bows from Mel Gear Solid. The second one, right? Red. <laughs> the next one, and I forgot that wrong, I'm so sorry, MGS fans. So, the uh, third from bottom is Lisa, who plays Tina. The one below it is going to be Vincent, who plays Big Daddy. So, Vincent plays Big Daddy. And then finally, Andy is going to play Logan. So Andy plays Logan. That is the first question complete us. Now we will uh, go to next. We need to answer question two. So what you need to do is click a name and then press right on the D-pad to add another name. Very easy. So the first one is going to be me. So then press right on the D-pad. That will add another name empty box for us to pop in and then when we've done that go down and choose John as a second name so jo John and then again right uh, right in the d-pad and then choose Dylan old Dylan sausages old Dylan and then finally for the fourth one we are going to choose May once again and then you can submit this will get us the director's ending, and then after a bit more of a cutscene, we're going to be able to answer question three and get the final achievement. And our 1,000 GGGGs wrapped up like a tight little condom. And you're going to decide, you know what? You don't feel like paying five mil after all. So you'll make me hand over the chip at some point. Oh, he also told me there are two chips, a set, and he wants each of us to take one. Just to be safe. Stay with you. Right. Hey, don't shoot the messenger. It's not like I volunteered. Problem is, you lose things all the fucking time. What are we supposed to do if you lose this? I should keep both for your own good. Okay, fine. You think that's best? I check out the chip and he says, well, where's the money? Right here. Come. What are you doing? Hand over the chip and nobody gets hurt. All right, all right. Take it. Just don't... Don't kill us. All right, like you didn't bring your gun. Give me the chip. We had a deal. We each take one of the chips. We split the money when we find a buyer. Did you forget that? Forget? Oh, no, no, no. I figured out it's more money for me. Let's see. Uh -huh. Bingo! The chip! What's this? 
Oh, the second ship! We definitely got our guy! Phew! Good job, everybody! Hey, who wants to go out to a bar after this? Shit, you guys got to sit out there in the sun? Fuck you! You have any idea what it feels like when a man my size gets stuffed into a locker? Hey, good work, everyone. It wasn't easy, but we got through that in one piece. Dinner's on me. That last gunshot was really cool. Kudos to Dimitri for the best impression of a guy taking a bullet I've ever seen. Well, I got the best seats in the house. And I didn't even have to say a single line. Hey, I'm back from under the cliff. We wrapping up? Lucky you. The two of us were talking just about all the way through. <laughs> I'm with you on that. Anybody mind grabbing us a couple of waters? You couldn't have spread it out a little bit more? It really wears you down when you've got so much dialogue to deliver. Hey, Director, everything good? Hey, this floor feels really nice. Oh, you guys should try it too. Wait, something's not right with D. Shit, my hands are still numb. That thing's got a kick for a toy. Uh, hey, D. We're done. You can get up. Hey, will somebody help Big D? Wait. What the fuck? Is he actually dead? How? D. D? Oh, no. God, no. He's dead! That was a real gun! So, after the very long, unskippable cutscene, we can finally answer some stuff. So, uh, we'll just answer the questions at first, um, but basically there's two new characters we just have to name. So the first one is going to be AD. So choose AD, and then the second one, again, right on the D-pad to add another one, and then we're going to choose Andy. Where are you, Andy man? There you are. Andy man. Andy man. Uh, third one then is going to be Logan. And then the fourth one again is going to be Andy. So that is Andy. So that is all complete. Um, now, I did actually submit it, but obviously we need to uh, answer the other two first, which was very silly of me right there, right? Uh, so go to the left top room. And there's two to grab. The one at the bottom is the director and the one on the top is the AD. So here we go then. So I did actually get it wrong the first time, but it is the one at the bottom director, one at the top AD. Uh, again, your answer should still be there. So press the X button, submit it, close the case, job done. So there we go then, guys and gals. That was the very obscure, i got to be honest. I genuinely hadn't heard of it until I seen it on sale. And I'm glad I did now because this was a very interestingly and just interesting take on a detective game. And some brilliant stories in it as well. So, bravo there to everyone at Next Studios. I did really enjoy this one. And there we go, guys and gals. So that's your thousand out of a thousand. So, thank you so, so much for watching. I, again, hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as usual. Big shout out to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Again, thank you so, so much. I'll see you in the next one. Big love. Kick it away. Go. Great! Who the fuck threw it on the ground? Interesting. Then someone used the director to commit the murder.